there everybody, I hope you're doing well. In this week's video I'm going to look at some of the keyboard shortcuts which will really speed up your usage of Dulux Paint. It's not intended as a user tutorial to explain what I'm actually doing in the process, just to explain some of the keyboard shortcuts and how they can help you speed up your pixel art creations on your Commodore Amiga. The keystrokes sometimes require an uppercase or a lowercase letter. I've summarised this on the screen now. The first shortcut that I want to point out is the pick colour tool. Sure you can do it with the mouse but it's much quicker just to hit the comma key on the keyboard and click either with the left or the right mouse to choose your colour. The next one is the line tool which you can hit with a lowercase v. Super useful and much speedier than reaching for the toolbox on the right. You can get to the line tools options by pressing shift and v. You can also access the fill tool by hitting F, lowercase f. You can get to the fill tool options by pressing shift and F, so capital F. The most useful shortcut in Dulux Paint is pressing the full stop or period key. This will reduce your brush size down to 1 pixels. Super useful and I use it all of the time. Next is the magnify tool. This is accessed with a lowercase m keystroke and it will centre basically where your mouse was positioned when you hit the m key. That's why it's much more useful to do it this way than using the tool on the toolbar on the right. With the magnify tool active, you can use the right and left angle brackets to zoom in and out of your picture. Much easier than using the toolbar. One of Dulux Paint's best hidden features is that when you have the magnify option selected and up on the screen, you can hit the N key anywhere in the zoomed in picture or on the picture on the left hand side to recenter your magnified view on that position where your mouse is. It makes all the difference to using the magnify tool and much faster than using the cursor keys. You can toggle the visibility of the palette by hitting the P key, that's a lowercase p. Within the palette tool you can also use the comma key which was the pick colour tool so you don't have to always reach to that bottom right hand button in the palette tool, you can just pick your colour this way. You can also change colour in Deluxe Paint at any time, regardless of whether the palette is open or not, by using the open and close square brackets. Open square bracket will select the previous colour from the current one, and close square bracket will advance the colour onto the next one. You can show and hide the coordinates by using the vertical bar or pipe character on your keyboard. Much easier than going to the preferences menu all the time. You can show and hide the user interface for Deluxe Paint with the F10 key, toggling its visibility on and off. You can also use the Delete key or Del key on your keyboard to hide your mouse pointer on and off. You can make a stencil at any time by using the Tilde key. For more information on stencils, please watch the video in the top right now. You can turn stencils on and off very easily with the left or open apostrophe key. Some more advanced features like process can be turned on and off with Alt and P. Just be aware that you will still have to go to the effects and process menu to change whether the process option will affect the tint, value or hue. But with the process option at this easy keystroke you can easily add for example as I'm doing here some shadows. So those are some of the really useful keyboard shortcuts that you can use when editing a still image. But Dulux Paint has some great shortcuts for those who do animation. Pressing the 1 key will go to the previous frame and Shift and 1 the first frame. Pressing 2 will take you to the next frame and Shift and 2 to the last frame. Pressing 3 will bring up a requester asking you which frame to go to. You can control animation playback by pressing 4 for a loop, 5 for a single playback and 6 for a ping pong style of playback. You can also reverse the animation playback by using shift and 4 for reverse loop playback and shift and 6 for reverse ping pong playback.
you can adjust the frame rate by using the right Amiga key and R at the same time. This will bring up your frame rate requester. This shortcut probably only works in Deluxe Paint 5 though, so just be warned. You've also got the copy frames option, very useful, with Ctrl and F pressed at the same time. So those are some of the most useful keyboard shortcuts that I know of in Dulux Paint. Maybe you know some, throw them down in the comments what you use a lot. One of the really cool things about the keyboard shortcuts is that they remain active at all times. So for example when animating you can hit the 1 and 2 key very rapidly to move forwards and backwards through frames. You can even start drawing say for example a circle or a line on one frame, hit the 1 or 2 key to go back or forward a frame and as soon as you let go of the mouse button your line or your piece that you're actually drawing will actually appear on the frame that you move to, not necessarily on the frame that you started drawing on. It's really super neat like that. It's well worth learning Dulux Paint's keyboard shortcuts for that reason. It makes editing your pixel art so much more pleasurable. For those interested, I've actually summarised all these keyboard shortcuts on my Patreon page, which you can find a link for in the description. Anyway, that's about it for this video. A bit of a quick one this week, but I hope you found it useful. And I guess that all it remains for me to say is see you soon. Peace! So, it's come to that part of the video where I mention that I'm on Patreon. From as little as $2 a month, you can get early access to content, exclusive artwork through the post, your name mentioned on videos, as well as tips that I don't publish to the public. You can find the link in the video description below. Your subscription to my channel will also help me ensure that I can bring the latest content here from Japan.